Perfect. The blueprints specify the exact part we're looking for. Well, I could use someone with outdoor experience for starters. Based on your skin condition, I'm guessing you're not from around here. That means you walked here. You're perfect for the job. Believe it or not, the Shenandoah Visitor Center has a device for monitoring the weather. While vastly inferior in complexity, it contains parts that you won't find out of any old toaster left to rot. It won't be a perfect fit, but even if the part is remotely close to the one that broke, they should be able to do some modifications to make it work. I'll analyze these blueprints more and do some research ahead of time, just in case. That just leaves you with the task of actually fetching it. If you don't mind, that is. That kind of thing is not uncommon for a national park this size. They had lots of tourists coming and going. Inclement weather would mean closing down some trails or the park altogether. Anyway, that's the past. Doubt the park rangers have much use for it now, right? So, will you grab it for me? Thank you. The visitor center is just north of the manor, on the cliff. It's probably completely abandoned. The building isn't too big, so you should be able to find it easy enough. Once you have the part, come back here, okay?
Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, that, that's a relief. Well, it's not here. It's, it's back in my bunker. There's a, a, a bit of a problem, though. The door to my bunker got jammed from the inside, and I got locked out. I just went out to get some essentials. I rarely leave the bunker. Of course, I had to lock myself out when I do. Anyway... Good news is, there's a second entrance in the basement of this building. <laughs> Bad news is, there's a bunch of weirdos in there now. I don't know who they are, or what they want. I've never seen them before. But they did not seem the friendly kind, huh? I just came in here minding my own business. When I heard some creepy chanting and, and talks about some Alex, Seeing them here for a, a sacrifice? I panicked, and I locked them in. I don't think they noticed, but I bet they'll be real mad once they do. You've got yourself a deal. Come and... Let me know when they're all, uh, you know, dead. Stopped hearing screams, so I came through, you know, to, to, to check on you. Yeah, and I wasn't sneaking off. Never seen them before. Whilst they were locked up in there, uh, I, I could overhear some of their conversations and. Chanting, though. They kept bringing up a, a moth an awful lot. Well, <laughs> the radiation must have been too much for them. <laughs> they also kept on and on about some big ritual and how some Alex had sent them here to help. Either way, I'm glad they're gone. And I hope this Alex person won't send any more this way. <gasps> oh, well, maybe we should have kept one of them alive, you know, to pass on the message. Well. 
Hindsight's 2020, they say. Well, it's been my home ever since the bombs dropped, and I am really not in the mood for finding a new home. I knew where they were. I'm the last one around here as far as I know. But, to be honest, I prefer my own company anyways. A deal's a deal. Follow me. I'll show you to my bunker. Uh, the machine is in there. Well, the machine you're after is just over there. I mean, it's pretty hard to miss. <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, helping me out getting back here. I'd ask what you need, but uh, I doubt I'd be of any help. I mean, have you seen those weirdos? So, you know, excuse me for being a little shaken up. As little as possible. <laughs> yeah. I only leave when I need a few essential resources. I, I don't see why I should leave more often than that. I got everything I need in here. Well, a few went out scavenging. Never to be seen again. Others left to search for their families. Now, I'm not sure, sure if they died or, 
or found someone, but oh, I sure wasn't gonna risk my life with them. Sure. Not at first I didn't. Just a few of my fellow rangers. And when the bombs dropped, we made our way to the bunker. None of them stayed very long, though. Attention, citizens. Nuclear strike imminent. Please exit the area at your earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation.
Hang on. Killing that one made the habitat charge a bit more than it normally does. Maybe killing the extra target ones will speed this up. Kill a few more and see.
after your session. What a roar, man. Well done, mate. A really solid effort. Everyone, if you could stay inside the bunker for a few moments while my associates make sure it's safe to exit. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Big effort you made for me there. I won't forget it in a hurry. Did you find the part we're looking for? How is that any of your... Be nice, Audrey. I'm sorry. Sometimes my emotions get the better of me, and there has been a lot going on. I think I figured out how I can make it work. I just needed to make a few modifications on our machine so I can connect it to the part. Nothing too complex. It's mainly just the type of unique connectors that our machine uses, so I just had to standardize them to hook a regular part up. All we need now is that part. Have you got it? What a relief. I must admit, I was a little unsure there would be any machine left to rescue parts from. I hope I didn't get you into too much danger to retrieve it. I knew you would be a good fit for the task. But that aside, I never heard of any cult in these parts. Then again, I never heard much about any cult in general. My father kept me fairly sheltered. Quite literally. I wonder what they were doing there. No, she couldn't be. Sorry, I knew someone named Alex. I never found out what happened to them when the bombs dropped, but it must be someone else. Would you mind getting the part in place? It should be pretty simple after my modifications. All the connectors are standardized now to fit a regular part. I do it myself, but I... I just need a minute to gather my thoughts. 
I mean equipment. I'll be right there. Got my equipment together. Let me see how you did in placing the part. Mm, passable. You forgot to hook up a few of the connectors, but a solid attempt for a first timer at weather machine repair. All that's left now is to get a scan of my mother's eyes. She is the only one in this vault authorized to override security checks when we reboot it. Audrey! Audrey! I thought I heard your voice in here. Oh, and our new friend is with you. Good, we might need you. We have an emergency. Your mother. She's gone. What do you mean, gone? I thought she was in stable condition. No, not gone like that. She's not in her room. Someone has taken her. They've left the note. Oberlin read it out to me. Some gibberish about a, a mothman. Didn't you say they were connected to an Alex? So if this Alex is connected to these cultists, and the cultists kidnapped my mother, could it really be her? Why would she take mom? Alex? The cult? Oh, that can be. I took care of her. What did you just say? Hmm? Nothing, my dear. I misspoke. No, no. You definitely said I took care of her. Want to elaborate on how you took care of her father? <sighs> okay, look. I didn't intend for you to find out, but... She was a risk to your future and that of our family business. I had to ensure you would stay here with us. I only did what I had to do. Why am I not surprised? I had a feeling you were behind her disappearance. How was your own daughter's happiness ever a risk? Every single bit of my life has always been dictated by you, and I have been miserable for all of it. Now, now, that's not true. You've always loved all this tinkering and such. All I did was make sure you were safe and would focus on what's important. The family business. And look around. Look how well it has worked out. This machine you've helped build and maintain. It's a true masterpiece. Are you delusional? Look at us! Look at those mad lost running around! Mom is in a coma, for God's sake! How has any of that worked out well? I cannot reason with the unreasonable. I need some air to process this. She'll come to her senses. There's always a flair for the dramatic. Takes after her father, I suppose. We have more important business to discuss anyway. We need my wife back. Pronto! And you've more than proven yourself capable of that task. So please, I could use your assistance. We don't have time to get into this. She was a bad influence on my daughter, a threat to the family business. I had to protect the business, and most importantly, Audrey, from her communist ideas. Now can we focus on the real issue at hand, please, and take care of Alex?
As much as I'd like to trust Audrey, I had to make sure she wouldn't turn against me. Cassidy had to authorize any major changes or security checks to make sure Audrey is keeping on the right track. Thinking of it, it may have not been the best idea to only have one person authorized to do all this. Well, it's done now, so you better get going before they kill her. Now oh, that stupid letter is what got us all into the situation in the first place. I should be telling you off for putting your nose in what's none of your business, but I think we have long passed that point. Cassidy and I were shocked to read the note. Such vulgar language. To think she is well read is beyond me, but enough of that. Back to your aside. Wunderbar! Getting this machine repaired is in everybody's best interest. Now, the note left behind mentions something about an old abandoned mine. I remember there was only one within the park. Nearly purchased it at one point for some... Uh, actually, that's not important. Try and blend in as one of the cultists. I fear they may harm Cassidy if they spot an intruder. Find where they're keeping her and get rid of Alex. I expect you to do a better job than the last person I sent to deal with her. We can't say for certain, but the gun I hired never returned, so it's possible she survived. And let's say that Joining a cult isn't outside the realm of possibilities when it came to her eccentricities. But even if it isn't the same Alex, whoever has kidnapped my wife deserves to die. Preferably, yes. Um, but I guess you're right. It's only led to more chaos, hasn't it? I guess you could try and talk some reason into her. I do have this book. You could use it as a peace offering from me. I took it off Audrey. It appears to have been a gift from Alex. I thought it best to remove anything that might rouse up sentimental feelings. You know the sorts. Silly young romances. Anyway, I think this could be enough to persuade her and invite her into this family. Yes. If that's the price I have to pay to get Cassidy back alive, then I guess I will come to terms with Alex being in our lives. Knew I could count on you. Now you better get going. I will deal with Audrey. Meet me back in the atrium when it's safe to get my dear Cassie. I will send out some people to transport her back safely once you've completed your mission. 